What is going on guys, it's Arto here and welcome to episode number 3 of Let's Play Call of Duty Ghost. So today it's going to be about a 25-26 minute episode and the reason for that is because I'm going to play for like yeah about 25 to half an hour um, and um, yeah 25 to half an hour and I'm going to see how good I'm going to play. So today I'm playing with my friend Sambalif, I'm playing with Shevchenko. Um, so they kind of are really good players and you know it's always good to have someone good in your team because then you kind of win the matches more often and, and it helps you play better as well yourself um, I'm I'm an okay player myself so I think we can actually figure something out so we are playing uh, Team Deathmatch on my favorite map Whiteout um, and the reason why this is you know my favorite map I was loading for fucking ages um, the reason is my favorite map because I know how to get a high KD ratio. I mean, you don't always have to camp, you don't always have to like stay in one place. You just basically have to know the place you have to run around because there's so many campers with thermoscopes at the back of the map, so you can just run around the backs and you know and destroy the asses. So um, the class I'm using again is Honey Badger. I'm trying to get it on gold, so this is probably why I'm using it. Um, I've changed my perks. I kind of play different style now. I've got my marathon, I've got my agility, so basically I just run double double quick. Um, yeah, I better go this way because they probably kill me from up there. Um, yeah, it's it's easier, it's, it's better to move fast, you know. So, I'm already kind of jumping on their spawn. I'm going to run around the back, run around the helicopter because that's where they spawn. And probably going to just, you know, see if there's anyone there and kill them. So yeah, let's talk about this map Whiteout. So Whiteout is um, a kind of big map uh, where people kind of, sp as you can see, I'm not going to show you what they play with. They play with weapons like this. Oh, I'm, I'm a shit sniping. But they play with a sniper like this and they just stand behind that and just hard scope. So I cannot hard scope. I have to quick scope with like a normal weapon, normal USR, not a gun like like, you know like L11 with thermoscope but that's what they do they just stand there and hard scope so as you can see is it like will it be funny if I just stand there all the time like you can see me now just standing there looking around oh yeah I can see someone maybe I try to hard scope him that's just boring so I'm not gonna stay there and I'm gonna move away because it's just kind of boring so I kind of show you what people do on the map and it's kind of you know I don't see the point of them doing it it's like that, that, that's why I like to rush because when I rush they don't really they don't expect me to rush they think I'm gonna be camping somewhere so they're gonna hard scope me from range but I wanna go for a clo close distance I, I kind of died there because there was someone in front of me and someone on the left so I, I like to have a close distance battle because it's kind of more fair at the minute I'm not doing too well um, my KD isn't too good I'm kind of dying all the time here and then but yeah there was a guy in the house in the camping, fucking little camper, come out, you dickhead. So as you can see, they just camp in the house, they camp and at the back of the spawn, or on, in the other houses, but this is the most common one. As you can see, he was just camping there, laying down. Um, I like to play against campers, because it's, it's easier for me to kill, but as you can see, he was just camping in the window. So, I like to play against campers, that's okay for me, because I get more kills, I mean, at the minute, I'm playing really shit because I can't really do anything I mean my team is kind of destroying them already we got like five points advantage six points but it's just the point of why 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 would you actually camp man uh, I don't see an actual point with that I mean it, it's just boring game you, you would just get bored of it like straight away yeah I'll probably if, if I just camp in one place I'll probably get bored of it like I can understand um, because what I'm trying to do is do lean shots. So sometimes I have to go against the wall and lean, which I'm probably going to do next map. But this is to do with my, you know, gold camo. I need to do it for my gold camo, so I'm going to go and lean. And, you know, some people do it differently. Some people do it in the way that it's really hard to say, really. Uh, some people just do it to get, like, I don't know, maybe five kills per whole map and they just get no deaths. Because they just want to have k high KD ratio, which no one really cares about. I mean, obviously, if you're like fucking 5, 10, maybe 15 years old, you might still care about, you know, KD ratio. But to be honest, the older people, the people, the most people that play the game, like, um, 
because this game is for 18 people 18 plus so most of the people should be 18 and over and those people don't really care about KD ratio but I'm afraid there's too many kids in this game and I don't kind of understand why parents allow little kids playing this game I can understand if you're like oh yeah maybe 12 and over you can kind of play the, the game because it won't really affect you you won't get any like you know you won't go and kill someone because you play the game that that's that's not how it goes I mean, you should you should you should have been playing a game for your age, but you know, if you want to play Call of Duty, that's fine. But if you are a like fucking six year old, and even now watching the video, and you're just six year old, my opinion is that you shouldn't play the game simply to the fact you need to go to school and you need to, you need to do education. And I know how it goes with myself because, like, I personally started playing Call of Duty when I was up, I think sixteen or fifteen, yeah, fifteen, sixteen. And I know since I started playing Call of Duty, my kind of education went down I did just because I mean I didn't play Call of Duty a lot I'm kind of a FIFA player I play FIFA f you know since the last 15 years I would say every single FIFA since the last 15 years and I'm kind of a FIFA player but like you know if you if you play Call of Duty I don't mind the game it's like it's a really really good game now it's kind of one of my favorites now it's probably uh, apart from FIFA it's my favorite game but you know I kind of since I started it, let's let's get back to the topic. Since I actually started doing it, I kind of, you know, start bunking off, you know, school, college, um, here and there. My attendance was like eighty percent because I just wanted to go home and play Call of Duty. You know, com compare with my friends because you know, oh yeah, my my friend go higher KD ratio to get higher than him, or he gets go more kill, or someone's go more kills on search and shit like that. It's kind of like you shouldn't really, you sh you shouldn't do that because like. Your education is important, as you can see, like like right now, all, all I'm doing, um, I'm still going to college. I mean, I'm still kind of, because I made a mistake in high school, because I made a mistake, you know, when I was year 11, I didn't get my full qualifications. I've got my qualifications now, but now I'm in my third, fourth year uh, in college. Um, uh, yeah, fourth year in college, year, year 15. 16, 15, fuck knows, I'm, I'm getting confused now what year I'm in, and um, I'm kind of still doing my education, and in the first year after high school, I've realised, oh shit, I, I barely got a place in, in a sixth form, um, it was also like one of the better sixth forms, but I barely got a place in it, they kind of got me there, simply to the fact I'm from another country, and I've only been in the UK for a couple of years, you know, blah blah blah, uh, that's that could be the downside of me, and um, yeah, and that's uh, that's probably why I got the place, and I kind of took the chances. I did finished off my GCSEs. Next year I did my level two sports, and then the year after I did another things, and then now I'm doing my level three sports. So I'm kind of still doing my level three sport because I know education is important. I can still play games, but I got a job, and I got a college. That that's the two, first two things, and then we come to play. Um, you know, Call of Duty, as you can see, I've got 19 kills, so I was the highest on the map. I played the best on the map, simply because I kind of run around. Uh, Shevchenko didn't do too well on this map, I believe did do quite well. Um, so yeah, we, we, we kind of, you know, education, as we can see, as you, if you're not old enough, and if you're just like 6 and you start playing the game, so if we go, you know, we're going back to the top, oh, my ratio is fucking terrible. We're going back to the topics. That's just really, you know, really annoying. So, it, it's just, you know, it can be annoying sometimes. Really, it does. Because, like, if you're six and you just fucking don't do your education, what are you going to be in life? You're going to work in KFC or something? That's just, like, you're going to be annoyed with your own life. You're just going to probably hang yourself or something because it's, it's really annoying. So, you have to think about that. So, it's kind of one of the toppings I covered, uh, education, um, that it is more important Call of Duty. A lot of people that are watching this video right now will probably say, nah, nah, education, ah, fuck, fuck you, what, what kind of, kind of try-hard you are. Um, but yeah, education isn't the like, highest thing you can do. As you can see, I'm speaking in the party yeah, and then everyone is just fucking listening to me. <laughs> That's kind of weird. And I kind of muted them so you wouldn't really be able to see what they're saying. Um, <clears throat> so, someone wants to be my friend, yeah, why not, I'll be your friend. 
Okay, let's go. So we could take in Honey Badger with playing Strike Zone. I'm gonna go Strike Zone is a little map. So I'm gonna go for lean shots. Um if you guys don't know what lean shots are, it's basically you have to do 50 lean shots to get a gold camo, like one of the camos to unlock the gold camo. And this is the hardest one, so it's probably the only one I've got left to do. So basically you just have to go against the wall. And you just have to lean against the wall. So I'm probably gonna do it this map sooner or later. At the minute I just have to look around where people are. I can't see anyone at the minute. I'm just gonna run around the map. I can see someone. Oh no, he died. Did he walk past or he died? Yeah, he died. Um, so yeah, I literally just run around the whole map and I didn't find anyone. Oh great, and then when I did, he was already on my spawn. Fuck's sake. Uh, I'm gonna go back. I'm probably gonna get him from this spot. Yep, yeah, you're dead. Where's another one? Lean shot. That's a lean shot, see? And a full lean shot is when you lean and you actually stay in one place. I'm, I'm gonna show you an example later, but I just need to, you know, kill more people. So, yeah, I've got payback on this cunt. Um, crouching shots. I think I need some of those as well. But I don't like crouching. So, I'm just gonna run around. Yeah, Strike Zone is the smallest strike map. But what I love about Strike Zone is that you can get Chem Strike on Strike Zone. And um, it's kind of like the easiest thing to get. Like, when you get a Chem, I mean, obviously, you can get Chem Strike on every game. But like, if you get a Chem Strike on this map, the map changes. I don't know. Did you know about it? If you, if you get a camp strike on this map, the map changes. I you know you know you know camp strike 24 kill streak, but you can get camp strike in a care package, and it's actually quite often that people do get camp strike in a care package, simply to, to because Call of Duty done it on purpose because they just want to show us, you know, how much work they done with the map. Because after after you get a camp strike, the kind of the whole map explodes. Um, the person that got a camp strike. He basically kills the all the opposition and team, and yeah, he just kills the opposition and team, and the map completely changes. It's kind of ruined. It's kind of looking different, and the shape of it is different, and all that. So, as you can see, I was trying to do my lean shots, but no one came out. I'm gonna try again. See, the lean shot is when you you don't have you, when you shoot, you don't go back. You just have to stay until you kill him, and then lean back. If you don't do it, you will, you will lose. You know. You will lose the the kill. I mean, you won't really lose the kill, but you won't actually. It won't count you as a lean kill. So you're gonna have to do it again. So it's really hard to get a gold gun um, in this game. It's like a model for free, which I played probably the most of all Call of Duty. So I, I played so many days, about 20 days in that one. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not as big as No Life of some people. Like you know, 100 days, 50 days. No, fuck that. But still, I played 20 days and kind of. Getting a gold gun in Modern Warfare took me about maybe a day. Some, yeah, maybe a day, maybe a couple of days. Like, because uh, all you have to do is get like about 600 XP, 600,000 XP for the weapon, and you just do it. And, and, and it's kind of easy because like you get like I don't know 100 kills, you get 10,000 XP, then you get 200, 300, shit like that. You you had loads of different, you know things to do with the weapon, you unlock the camo, you unlock the thermoscopes, all that, you get challenges with them and it, it literally took you a day or two to get a gold one but as, on Call of Duty 2, like uh, Call of Duty Ghost, I'm saying, sorry it's kind of, it's it's taken ages thank you dog it's taken ages, it's like I'm doing it for like a week now week and I still got a lot to do so I'm probably gonna be doing it for another week and it's kind of, if I do it, I'm, oh, I'm gonna be so happy, you know, gold honey badger. Then I'm probably gonna do a gold, uh, probably, probably gold vepro, vector, sorry, no, not vep, vector, and then USR, and then MTAR. Because those four weapons are the best one. I don't know, can you do chaser on gold, or any other camo, because I really like to play with chaser as well. It's kind of a really good gun. So at the minute I'm doing quite well on the map. I mean, at the beginning I've been dying a lot, but at the minute I'm kind of destroying them. So obviously you have to lay down sometimes. You have to crouch. You have to go around the corner. You cannot just run into them because they're simply gonna kill you. How the fuck he was already behind me? Fucking shit spawning on the game. Oh, uh, so yeah, you just have to know how to play. You're gonna run around. But it's been a good day. Um. I had a good day, I hope you lot did have a good day. Why are you camping in the corner, you fucking cat? Oh no, don't. 
No, you f you wasn't even looking at me and he fucking jumped at me. Oh, he's a fucking... Oh, he's a juggernaut, is it? That's why he fucking killed me so fast. Did you just see where he was camping? Did you just see the corner? He was fucking lying down on it. So, 17 to 7. And I think we are playing against fucking noobs. Because they are fucking camping. And next map is going to be difficult. I mean, I did almost the best in my team. We we kind of managed to win anyway, but we we did almost the best in my team. Then you, um, I believe, did quite well. Well, not quite 15 to 20, and then 7 to 13. So yeah, I think they're getting quite stressful. But I did moot in them just to record this gameplay. So um, you want to really be able to hear well, you know, what are they saying? So we're gonna play. I'm wasn't for actually. Uh, should I play Stormfront? We're probably gonna play that anyway. Stormfront, yeah, my ratio isn't too bad actually. One, one. See, my ratio is just one, one, just clear one, and um, it's kind of bullshit. And again, as you can see, my kill streak is 16. And on my previous video, I got 20 kills, I think, in a row. And I believe that you only count your kill streak when you only do it with your gun. So like, if because I had a dog. And my dog got like five kills, so that's probably why it didn't count it toward my kill streak, and that's why it's only sixteen. But I know it, it should be higher than that. Yeah, well, we're playing team deathmatch on Stormfront, so fucking sorry about my chair. It's just fucking the sound. Look at this. Hear the sound. What that my chair noise like makes when I move. I need to fix it because it's kind of annoying when I record my videos. Sorry about that. It's just those little noises. So. Oh, I don't really like this map and oh that was my fucking phone dropping now I don't really like this map because I'm gonna run around the map I'm gonna be trying because I don't camp I rush that, that is my main bit and I kind of oh come on I get a kill come on oh fucking hard Scott they're just gonna be camping and that's what's fucking annoying about this map I bet I'm gonna be doing like I'm gonna be the shittest one on this map I swear I will and oh god I fuck it oh my god did you just see that did you just fucking see that so yeah so we kind of cover on this video we kind of covered education what else did we cover we covered education we cover honey badger we cover what did we cover I think we're gonna have fucking cover campus as well so uh, the main topic on the title of today's video it's camping it's a honey badger and it well gold getting a gold camo and it's fucking it's just basically camping because this game is about fucking camping i mean education camping and honey badger but is he still camping in this corner no he's not fucking look at this pussy he was just fucking lying down there. no you cannot go this way so I'm kind of dying. I got zero kills. I kind of when I found people, they just kill me because it's kind of annoying. Because it's fucking, they just camp on the spoons. Maybe if I find someone now, and I kill him. But I kind of went on the spawn, and they spawn in the other end, so I have to go back to the other end. Oh, I got a kill. Yes. Well done, Alpha. You got a kill. Well done. Well, I'm probably gonna die <coughs> but you can see he was just camping in the bush so it's really annoying okay there's no one there no one at the oh fucking hell that was someone at oh my god so how can I possibly kill them can I don't know can you put down how can I possibly kill them when I'm on a like on the other side and whenever I get to the side of the map they just fucking hard scope me I think I need to change my tactic I think I'm gonna Kind of find a place on this map. I'm probably not gonna be here because they're gonna hard scope me all the time. I'm probably gonna go to the other side of the map. I think so. I oh, know it's just a fucking thingy. Um, I'm just gonna be like kind of running around one place, so there's no chance they're gonna be hard scoping me because there's quite a high chance that they will hard scope me. And who is shooting at me, you bitch? Come on, come here, bitch. Oh, and assist, you nick my kill, can't. Who did that? How could you nick my kill? So I'm kind of one to four. That is really shit. One kill, four deaths. Okay. No, I promise I won't die again. I'm not gonna die. 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do what I did I'm gonna stay in kind of one spot not one spot as in like one place but I'm gonna kind of stay in one quarter of the map and I'm gonna wait for them to spawn it because um, no point me running around to the other spawn man I'm just gonna get a hard to go halfway through so I think this is gonna be the average place I'm gonna be standing in so yep that's a kill no, obviously I'm not gonna be stuck camping in these bushes and shit. No, no, don't, don't, I'm not camper. Don't take, don't take me, you know, that way. So I'm probably, yeah, that's the place I'm probably gonna stand around. Um, yeah, this is the place. This is the place I'm gonna be standing around to get the kills. So, yep, we got another one. Come on, we're getting it back. We're getting a KD back. Um, let me reload and let's let's go again. So I'm gonna go up the stairs. Look around, maybe someone's there, and then go back again. Kind of quarter of the map. This is the best way you can actually get a KD ratio, and I know if a uh, fact because if you don't play well, this is basically what you have to do. So I oh, think I just explored the car, maybe someone there, but it wasn't no one. So yeah, but that's a good tactic, you know, playing kind of in the place, just running around the place that people can spawn. I mean, obviously, if, it, if it's boring, I'm not gonna go there. But I'm just gonna stay in the quarter of the map. I'm not gonna. Oh, thank you. Give me the kill. Uh, I'm not gonna just run around to the spawn so I can have a fucking hard scope. I can stay around the quarter, and I think they're gonna be spawning here now because uh, all my all my team is in the other side. So, like this pussy. Come on, doggy. Doggy, follow me. Let's get some more kills. Yep, first place kill, bitch. And yeah, gonna go this way. Look for the window. Nope, go around. As always, the same places. If you get kind of get the same tracks every day, it's gonna be good. As you know, why I jump through the window? Because my dog is was coming from the left. And when I jump through the window, oh, I seen someone. Why are you camping behind the door? My dog will come through the left, and just in case, kill them. Uh, I need to wait because I'm getting red. I don't want to die. Flash green dog, help me out. What the fuck are they doing? It's like fucking, it's fucking exploding shit. Look at look at this camper in the corner. Look at oh my dog. I let my dog do it. Let, oh, that's a heli. We're doing well. I got nine kill streak. Surprise, actually. I was dying like fucking what five four times in a row, and I kind of didn't die. So that's good. Yeah, that's another kill. My helicopter. I told you, I'm, I'm promise you, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna try my best not to die. I'm gonna try my best to actually play some real, real good, you know, Call of Duty. Don't camp in the corner. Nor my fucking spawn, you little cunt. Oh, hello. You dead. So yeah, as you can see, honey badge, a couple of bullets, two, three bullets, and it and it dies. Maybe. Sometimes when it's more bullets, you don't really feel it because it goes that fast. Look, look at the f kind of the speed of sh shooting this weapon is kind of fast. And I, I kind of got like two or three shots on the guy. I didn't really have to aim more. So 14 to 4. I'm on a 14 kill streak. I can understand my helicopter killed two. My dog killed two or oh, one. Yeah, two as well. Oh no, one. Whatever. So I'm kind of doing well. I'm waiting for my heli to kill more. I'm just gonna run, stay around this uh, quarter of the map because it's really the best quarter of the map. So, yeah, campus. Why do you camp? Why I don't get it. So, next time, please, people, just when you watch this video and you are camping yourself, try to put, change your class to a oh, fucking chair. Uh, change your class to like marathon agility because uh, like marathon, you can um, it's basically running without stopping, so you don't have to stop. Uh, agility is it increases movement, so you kind of go faster, which is also really good. I'm kind of gonna run out now because uh, oh, why are you camping in the window? This is kind of end of the map really, so I need to get some more. I've got another dog, but I've got this one already. Fuck's sake. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably yeah go on the spawn and kill them. But if if you're watching this video and and you like to camp yourself because you can't really play good at the game, you you won't get any better never in your life if you're gonna camp um, basically you, if you get better camp you, you you just won't get any better I mean in my opinion it's more fun if you play like like me now running around and killing all the campers that are waiting there 
because you know how to do it, you got good accuracy. And this is how I learned, because I've never been camping, I've always been running around. And as you can see, I'm playing fucking ridiculously well. I got an 18 kill streak, so I'm destroying this. I got an 18 kill streak, in a, which is really good. Um, it won't count towards my kill streak, which is 16. Simply because I got a couple kills with helicopter. And that's why the game is kind of shit, because I should already have 18 kill streak. But yeah, it's been an end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you stayed to the end of the video. If you did, please say I stayed to the end of this video in the comments below. And I see you guys later.